Hey boys and girls, Mr. Myers here today showing you more tips and tricks for the Sketchpad app. Now, what we're going to do today is we're going to focus on the text tool. So we're going to play around with different ways to use letters and numbers in our artwork. Let's do it. Okay, make sure you go to www.sketch.io. Press English. All right. So if you need to create a new uh, artwork, let's go on over here. Make sure we're in inches. And let's go with 11 by 8.5. That's going to be the size of the printer paper you most likely have at home. Today, I want to talk about the text tool because this is one of those tools that has a lot of uh, bells and whistles on it, so to speak. There's a lot of buttons, a lot of sliding bars, and we're gonna slide and we're gonna click and we're gonna button and we're gonna, we're gonna just mess around here a little bit. So first thing I want you to do, when you have your text tool out, it basically just gives you your regular old cursor. What I want you to do is make a box, okay? Then it says your text here. So let's keep it simple. Let's type our name in first. All right, now we can manipulate this text in a lot of different ways. The main thing is font. Font is a fancy word for the style of the uh, letters and numbers that we're using. So to change that font, see where it says Chewy up here? I'm gonna, it, when I hover over here, it says choose font. I'm gonna click on that. Then it gives me this whole library of different fonts I could choose from. Okay. Now, if you were a graphic designer and you really wanted to, let's say you were making like a movie poster. Okay. And it was an action packed movie and things were really quick and really fast. Maybe you would pick something that had a, like a quick vibe to it. Right. Um, so the styles kind of dictate the way that you feel about about the words okay like this one's called luckiest guy you know what i'm feeling lucky today let's click on that one now just like our other objects that we've messed around with with fill we can select a different color right the text tool is a little tricky because you want to make sure that your text box is selected That's the way the computer knows you want to change that specific text. So again, we could do fill, we could use radial fill, right? That's sweet. And then it looks like I could move this slide bar around with my radial fill to change the radius of my rainbow gradient like that. I can select outline. So right now there's nothing here. So stroke, that's the word that we use for the outline around an object. In this case, it's gonna be an outline around each letter. For example, if I go to color and I press black and I turn this on, there's a thin black outline around my letters. Now I could take this slider, this line width slider, and I can make the outline of my letters bigger, thicker, right? Wider or thinner, right? All right, cool. It's looking cool already, right? Um, another tool we have over here, just like whenever we're using Microsoft Word or Google Docs, we can decide if we want our words to be aligned left, center, um, or right. Oftentimes when you're making like a graphic design or something, you're going to have center selected. We could change from bold, italic, underline like that. I'll do italic. Line height. So this uh, seems to dictate 
where the word actually floats inside of your text box. Okay, now you're going to want to make different text box boxes for different reasons, right? So let's say like this is a title of a comic book or something. All right. Now, I'm going to create a different text box down here to say things about myself because I want to use a different text entirely. Basically, that's what I'm getting at is you don't want to have crazy text all the time and you don't want to if you want to have different kinds of texts so you want to have a rainbow text on the top and you want just like regular typewriter text on the bottom for writing you're going to want to have two different text box text boxes so you could treat um, and style each text differently it just makes it easier so i'm going to get rid of this outline all right and now i have mr Myers epic art dude okay i only tell the truth all right so mr myers epic art dude and you know what maybe i will leave that nice and simple here so letter spacing is going to change the space in between each letter so it can widen it out or it could bunch it up okay this is cool if you really bunch it up it starts to kind of look like a graffiti tag and if you space it out like this this is really good for fitting your text in maybe thinner areas towards the top of the page word spacing similar it just treats the words it manipulates the word space not the letter space okay that does it for this week have fun using the text tool in the sketchpad app now while you're doing that try making different types of text using different fonts and try using different fill and different outlines and have fun experimenting with ways you can make text look good or stand out on different backgrounds and don't be afraid to mix this lesson with the other lessons we've learned in my previous videos. Thanks for watching. See you next week.